welcome back today we're going to be talking about part two of this reunion now part two was good as well i was not mad at this reunion i wasn't mad at it i'm glad it was only two parts i think we could have skipped a lot of the stuff in part two i mean hey they had to get an hour out of it somehow well an hour and 15 minutes but yes let's get into it so we pick up with drew versus ralph's representative they started talking about the Ty situation and uh, apparently Drew visited Ty in Texas and no one knows what happened. Who cares? Ralph went to Tampa and we don't know what happened. So what's the problem? I see no problem. Um, but they talk about how Drew and Ty met. Basically Drew was just saying she had a crush on her and somebody from Candy's team told somebody from Candy's team who told Ty and that's how she ended up there. So basically Candy's team made it happen. Surprise, surprise. I really hope like it's like, it's really given the pass. <laughs> I really hope Candy is not like scheming. Like she didn't bring her there to set her up. Like I, I hope she didn't do that because if she's telling you she has a crush on somebody and you know she's married, why would you bring her crush around? Like, are you trying to set her up? It's given the past in real life. Um, so then Sheree chimes in um, after claiming she didn't want to get involved <laughs> because somebody dropped some news off at the Chateau, which I did not believe at first, but now I feel like it was Ralph. Well, not necessarily Ralph, but you know, whether he paid somebody to do it or sent somebody to do it, it was Ralph. That's the only way I'll believe that somebody actually dropped some information off to Sheree's porch about Drew. So Sheree pulls out her manila folder and it's um, printed out screenshots of Drew and Ty's text messages. They pass them around and Andy says that they're incriminating, but he didn't necessarily say exactly what they said. Um, they were trying to say they weren't real, but Drew was saying that they were real and they were friendly. Um, but Andy was looking at him and saying that, mm, oh girl, this is, <laughs> this is a little incriminating. <laughs> I feel like the only time that Drew was kind of getting caught up in lies at this reunion was when it came to the Ty situation. And I think we all at this point know why she doesn't want to talk about it. Well, we all know except Candy. Candy still thinks this is about defending her name and defending being called a liar. <laughs> like girl, keep up. It's a whole divorce going on where they trying to pin cheating on each other. So after that, they send off Monietta and Courtney. And <laughs> I thought this was so funny. After we spent all this time talking to Courtney, then he goes, oh, and Monietta, and by the way, shout out to you for having that orphanage in Africa. <laughs> her all okay, that's lunch, guys. Yes. One hour. Huh. So they break off for lunch. Um, Marlo and Sheree go into, I think that was Marlo's room. Marlo is getting her life because of how Sheree is coming for Candy. Now in, in Ralph's room, Courtney walks in and it's definitely giving kiss and cousin. Great, how are you? Good, you ready? So they chit chatting or whatever. Allison walks past the room. And my feelings are that Courtney tried to shut the door on Allison because she didn't want her to see them being flirty. So she tried to shut the door on Allison and Allison was like, girl, girl. How you feeling? Don't close that door on me. Don't you oh, close oh, that oh, door oh, on oh, me. Oh, oh, let's get this. Okay. Thing. You calling me I, a bitch? I did. I did. Oh, you don't use the I word did. bitch, though. I do You now. don't. I do now. Who are you? Why is it that the housewife sisters always be the ones that be with it? Like, you know, Cynthia wasn't really with it, but Mallory was. Drew's not really with it, but Allison is. Po well, Portia's with it, and so is Lauren. <laughs> but it just seemed like the sisters always be way more turned <laughs> than the housewife. Oh, and she also called her the B word. Like, girl, Courtney was real bold this reunion. Allison should have slapped her mouth straight. They come back from lunch. Um, they talk, they they have some sex talk briefly. They talk about how Kenya was the first housewife to eat booty. <laughs> Andy talks about the freakiest thing she's ever done, which was an orgy. So then they talk about Sonya and her miscarriage. Sonya talks about how she was disappointed in Kenya because 
pretty much everyone reached out to her except Kenya. Kenya claimed she did reach out. Sonya claimed she didn't. I don't know. Let's talk about Kenya considering adoption. Um, that is a much better alternative to having another baby with Mark. That's nice. Um, we'll see. You know, hopefully she goes through with that and we get to see that process. So then they go back to Sonya and they talk about how she was shading Kenya the entire season. But they specifically talk about the Martell versus Roy situation regarding um, Martell sliding in Kenya's DMs and Roy sliding in Marlo's DMs. And Kenya felt like she was defending Marlo, but she was really just saying like it's a double standard, which I said in whatever episode that was like it's the same thing y'all was kikiing about martel being in kenya's dms but when marlo says that roy was in her dms then you know it, then all of a sudden it's not funny and it's crossing lines so saying i had a point there you know it was a double standard so then kenya tried to say well you don't check marlo at all but the footage shows otherwise because she did tell marlo when she was wrong so once again Kenya is just trying too hard to come for Marlo and it's just not working because Marlo's not doing anything. Sonya then basically explains why she was flip-flopping on Kenya. <laughs> she said it's because, you know, she knows Kenya is a calculated person and sometimes when Kenya does things for her, she doesn't know if it's to look good on TV or if she genuinely likes her because she's not really a friend to her off camera. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. Kenya, Kenya is calculating. She's smart. But I mean, I think she likes Sonya though. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. She says she don't be her friend for real off camera. So who knows? So next, Andy calls out Candy for being so offended when people speak on her, but she do her speak on it. Candy basically said, listen, I just returned the energy they bring to me. But the question <laughs> i think the question was why do you get so upset when people come for you when you come for them she didn't answer that he then reads a card from sheree <laughs> sheree really went in on candy uh she said that candy thinks she better than everybody she only show her businesses she only shows positive things and she just need to go ahead take a break and get off the show if that's the case. Uh, but then Candy responded to Sheree and was like, well, you would know about taking breaks. <laughs> and then Sheree came back and was like, well, yeah, they gotta keep bringing me back cause y'all boring. <laughs> Not true, but that was a good clap back. I I'm living for this Sheree and Candy back and forth. So then they talk about the nephew thing between Marlo and Candy. Uh, basically, Marlo just said that she wanted Candy to do more whatever i don't i don't care about that no more i don't care about the nephew thing no more that was so early in the season but then candy brings up a point about how everybody wanted her to talk about the incident but nobody was talking about sheree's website and that is true because no how was that not a topic how was that not a topic when it was the season finale and we've been talking about she by Sheree and all these designers and you know Drew and how she took her her merch back and how are we talking about all of that but nobody's talking about how the website crashed or wasn't working or whatever whatever Sheree want to say she want to say she she broke the internet okay but nobody's talking about that points were made a lot of points were being made this reunion by everybody and then Candy tells Marlo that she's jealous of her. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that is something that viewers have been noticing for a long time. I mean, it's just like she finally said it. So then Sonya steps in to defend Marlo and Candy has an issue with that. And once again, points were made because they was like, listen, Candy, anytime somebody got a problem with you, you got the candy coated click getting on social media talking. You got Kenya to defend you. So I'm going to defend Marlo. Points were made. But then she kind of shut Sonya up when she was like, but I thought you was neutral. So are you neutral? Are you always you supposed to be in the middle, are you not? No, I'm not. Are no, you're not. Anymore. Points were made. <laughs> so next is Ralph. Didn't I tell y'all this was going to be a waste of time? Didn't I tell y'all we was going to get nowhere? He come out here acting fake sad, talking in his low voice as if that makes him sound more believable. He came out, Drew had nothing to say. 
<laughs> she didn't even want to address him. She didn't want to answer any of these questions, nothing. Drew, how does it feel to be out here with y'all? Drew, you have to answer. I don't know why he was there, to be honest, but I guess it was to get a peach. <laughs> and Drew brought out yet another prop. Drew stayed with a prop. I mean, she's an actress, so I guess. So they start going into the divorce and Ralph claims that he's there to clear his name. He wants to clear his name about these cheating rumors. Clearly neither one of them want to admit to cheating, but clearly both of them cheated. So why don't they just come to an agreement like, okay, let's throw that part out of the divorce, like the prenup or whatever y'all got going on. Let's not mention infidelity because both of us are cheating. Like, why don't they just come to that agreement instead of both of them lying? I ain't cheating. I ain't cheating. You cheated. You cheated. No, I didn't cheat. No, you cheated. Both of y'all cheated. So how about we just throw that part out? So then they start talking about the Ty situation. Ralph claims that the assistant is who told him about Ty. However, Drew is saying that Ralph and Mimi are the ones that conspired this to come out. Now, even though Candy and Kenya vouched for Ralph and said the assistant did say it, that doesn't mean that Ralph wasn't the person who put these rumors out initially. That's why I don't understand why everybody was sitting there siding with Ralph. Like just because the assistant repeated it doesn't mean that he's the one who created the rumor. It can be true that the assistant said it and it can also be true that Ralph is the one who started the rumor. And if y'all remember around this time where the whole cheating thing came out, like before the season aired, Mimi was the one who posted it on her story and she was the one who went and did an interview immediately after talking about the situation which I reacted to on my channel so it would make sense if they were the ones who conspired because they were the only ones coming out talking about it and Mimi was the one who put the news out it's not that far-fetched but the fact that is this is yet another assistant of Drew's and some mess like, but yes, everyone is siding with Ralph and it was really pissing me off because that's how narcissists work. They will literally have everybody thinking you're the problem. Drew was simply saying Ralph is the one who started the room. Yeah, maybe the assistant did carry it. Maybe he did, but Ralph is the one who put it out there. Like that's all she was saying. So I don't know why everybody was sitting up there acting like they couldn't comprehend that. Like Candy, you really that mad that she called you a liar? She was just being very, very vindictive towards Drew. And it's just not a good look. Like, I just feel like they was all up there gaslighting Drew at this point. But besides Kenya and Sonya, they seem to be the only two that had her back. So then Drew shows these text messages that um, a woman sent to Ralph. And you know, Ralph is just up here denying everything. Gaslighting Drew, like the narcissist that he is. They asked Ralph about Courtney's comments regarding you know Josiah and the adoption and what she said and Ralph completely went left field he just explained why he didn't want to adopt Josiah and that was not the question what he asked you was how did you feel about Courtney bringing that up he didn't answer that at all so then Andy asked him if they still love each other I mean obviously they do Drew said she would reconcile if she felt like it was a safe space to express her feelings. She goes on this whole thing. She pours her heart out to Ralph. And after doing that, he proves her point. Right after she talks about how he dismisses her feelings, she pours her heart out to him and he dismisses her feelings and calls her an actress. Like you just proved her point, sir. So after he said that, she gets up, walks away in tears, Nobody really goes after her for a while. I think Sonya, Mayetta, I don't think anyone else did. But yeah, they go after her. Candy over here smirking. Certain things are not going to air on television. Mm -hmm. Candy, you're being very spiteful and it's not cute. And Kenya was actually the only one to speak up to Ralph. Now what really happened You're is, supporting her, her it's enemies. Not, it's not about how supporting, support? it's not supporting. First and foremost, how Where's we came together. Where's the loyalty? Together. Courtney came in, my cousin. I'm talking to her, we're building our own relationship. You don't even know She's that woman. Checking. I just feel like, you know, being that I have been in a marriage that's very somewhat similar to yours and how you respond to her, there's so many similarities in 
in that when, in that when I see you guys interact. And I'm just trying to get you to see things from a different perspective that's not coming from Drew, but someone who's lived in a situation like that. She's defending Drew, telling Ralph how wrong he is. It was very similar to her and Mark's marriage. And Ralph has the audacity to go, well, how long were you married? That's all. I'm not trying and to how long were you, you married? Two years. Does that matter to you how long it was? Ralph is trying it. So the reunion ends with Drew <laughs> performing with her new songs. And it's clearly about her and Ralph's situation because she is singing it to him on stage. <laughs> the shade. <laughs> out here playing games with my heart. And if that's not the case, then tell me why would you throw it? She done wrote a song about Ralph performed it with him on the stage and sung it to him. <laughs> Drew was not playing with nobody this reunion. <laughs> but I, and I really like the song. I really do. I like Drew's music. She has good music. I'm just wondering like what happened when they got home that night. <laughs> because they still live together. And that reunion was pretty bad. But yeah, um, it ends with Sheree giving her final thoughts. You know they they trying to make Sheree happen. She gets her final thoughts talking about how she's not gonna give up on the girls and she's gonna keep trying to get everybody to get along. You're a part of the problem though. So like, <laughs> how is she gonna bring everybody together? Love? So yeah, the reunion kind of ends there. It ends weird. It, it's not giving sisterhood. They didn't do a group hug. They didn't do any of that. Um, it was really weird. And it's a wrap, folks. That's the end of the season. Okay, so final thoughts on the show. Um, I think every... For, okay, well, first of all, I think the reunion was pretty good. It was a little better than I thought. And they was definitely fighting for them spots. They was definitely working for them peaches at the reunion. Now, originally, I did want Courtney to come back. I thought she was decent. Um, but the the last two episodes of this reunion have just turned me completely off from her. Um, I do still think she was a better friend than Mayetta. Like, I I know y'all don't like her, but we gotta admit she gave more than Mayetta did. I liked Mayetta at the beginning, but she started getting messy and she wasn't even getting the story right. And then she kind of just fell into the background after doing the messy stuff. And then she would just randomly pop up with some messy stuff. So she she wasn't really giving. And you know, I don't really care for Courtney, but I have to admit, there were some times where I agreed with her, you know, as far as the Mayetta situation, when she went at it with Kenya, like she wasn't wrong all the time. She really wasn't that bad until she got involved in the Drew Ralph mess. Um, but I still enjoyed her more than Mayetta. Um, now as far as the peach holders, um, I don't, I don't really, I don't really know how they're going to pick up next season because nobody seems to be in a good place. Well, Candy said she'll be cordial with Marlo. Um, I don't know what the status of Drew and Sheree's relationship is. Um, Sonya and Drew are good. Of course, Marlo and Kenya are good. Sheree and Candy, not good. Drew and Candy, not good. Sonya and Kenya, I have no idea. They might be good, but she still don't, I don't think she still follows her on social media. I don't know. And then they just need two new friends. Although I could I could see them bringing Mayetta back. I, even though I don't feel like they need to, I could see them doing it. Hopefully Courtney is not back. But if Drew and Ralph are getting a divorce, there's no need for her to be back. But who knows? I thought this season was okay. I liked it better than last season. I liked it better than season 13. Um, so yeah, I think this is the best season that they've had since Nene left. And that's just my personal opinion. Um, and the season wasn't even that great. It's just season 13 sucks so, so bad. At 14, I don't even remember what went on last season, truly.
Was that Sonya's first season? Yes, that was Sonya's first season. But I don't, I don't really remember much of what went on. Yeah, that's how boring it was. Um, but yeah, I think this season was definitely better than 13 and 14. But it was, uh, it started off strong. But um, yeah, it kind of fell off. It kind of got boring a little bit after like maybe four, episode four or five. Now, as far as next season, I've already given y'all my dream cast for next season. Well, my realistic cast. My dream cast is different. I gave my realistic cast. I just really hope that they don't do a reboot. I feel like they was they was really working for the Peaches of Screaming. I really feel like they were. Everybody. Well, Marlo, Marlo really didn't say anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Atlanta is over. So, I guess now we just sit around and wait for the casting news um but I, I highly highly doubt they're doing a reboot i don't think they would do that they know the fans not gonna like that they only did the reboot in new york because they had to i mean look at jersey look at how many complaints they got about that cast and they kept the exact same cast so i don't i don't think the reboot is gonna happen um but yeah overall this season was okay I don't think I'm gonna rewatch this season either though. <laughs> Maybe I'll rewatch the reunion though. That was that was pretty interesting. The way Candy and Sheree was going at it the whole time. Yeah, the reunion may have some rewatch value, but definitely not the season. Um, uh, but y'all let me know what y'all thought about that in the comments down below. Stay happy, healthy, and all that good stuff, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.